This video will cover the topic writing a quadratic function given its zeros. What is a quadratic function? A quadratic function is a function of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to zero. Our goal is to determine the quadratic function given its zeros. How do we do that? Let us say that the zeros of the quadratic function are 2 and 5 and we are required to determine the corresponding quadratic function. It is given that x equals 2 and x equals 5 are the zeros of the quadratic function. This means that x minus 2 and x minus 5 are the factors of the quadratic function. The quadratic function can be expressed as the product of the factors. The quadratic function is equivalent to x minus 2 times x minus 5. This seems like a reverse process of determining the zeros of the quadratic function. Is that right? Yes, it is indeed the reverse process of finding the zeros of a quadratic function. The next step would be to simplify the expression x minus 2 times x minus 5 to obtain the quadratic function. We now use the distributive property to obtain the quadratic function. We first multiply x by x and we get x square. Next, we multiply x by negative 5 and we get negative 5x. Now, multiply negative 2 by x and we get negative 2x. Finally, multiplying negative 2 by negative 5, we get 10. Thus, the quadratic function whose zeros are 2 and 5 is x square minus 7x plus 10. Okay. Can we do another example? Sure. Let us say we are required to determine the quadratic function whose zeros are negative 4 and negative 1. We know that x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 4 are the zeros of the quadratic function. This means that x plus 1 and x plus 4 are the factors of the quadratic function. The quadratic function can be written as a product of its factors as x plus 1 times x plus 4. We can obtain the quadratic function by applying the distributive property to the expression x plus 4 times x plus 1, right? Yes, that is true. We can apply the distributive property to simplify the expression and obtain the quadratic function. First, multiplying x by x and then multiplying x by 4, we get x square plus 4x. Finally, Multiplying x by 1 and 4 by 1, we get x plus 4. Simplifying the expression, we get that the quadratic function whose zeros are negative 4 and negative 1 is x square plus 5x plus 4. Okay, in order to obtain the quadratic function given its zeros, we first obtain the factors of the quadratic function from its zeros. We then represent the quadratic function as a product of its factors. We finally apply the distributive property to obtain the quadratic function. Perfect. 